All right, what up YouTube? Welcome to my Bybit digital course. This is video three. In video three, we're gonna cover everything that has to do with Bybit charts. So how do you actually use the charts on Bybit? What indicators can you use? How can you use the charts on Bybit to help you become a better crypto trader? As I stated earlier, this is video three. This is going to be a short mini 10 video digital course that's going to teach you guys everything you need to know about Bybit. You guys know that Bybit's the only exchange I trust. I've been trading crypto for a long time, guys. Even since the original Mt. Gox, the first Bitcoin exchange, Mt. Gox was shut down. I lost a few Bitcoin on it. That being said, I've had so many subscribers asking me, how do I do this on Bybit? How do I do that on Bybit? So I wanted to put a full step-by-step -step Bybit beginner digital course just for you guys. It's all gonna be free. So all I ask is that you guys hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and share the good vibes, guys. Let's dive in and get into these charts. Guess what? I'm not a financial advisor. I may have a plethora of crypto knowledge, but this video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. You always need to do your own research. I do not advise that you buy, sell, hodl, trade, or invest in any cryptocurrency. And if you could do me a huge favor and hit that like button, turn on those post notifications, and smash that subscribe button, I would be greatly appreciative. And down in the description, you can always find chapter timelines in case you want to skip ahead, affiliate links, and links to my digital course. Now that we got the YouTube police off our back, let's dive in. Let's get it. If you guys have not saw my cryptocurrency exchange fees will eat you alive video, definitely check it out. I'll leave it linked down below in the description, but you'll learn quick why I talk about Bybit so much because Bybit is the only exchange that actually pays you to be a trader. So if you're limiting it into trades on Bybit, you are literally getting paid. They are paying you. We're exchanges like Coinbase, Coinbase Pro. I mean, look at the difference in fees. I was able to buy 60,000 coins of VeChain for the $3,000 that I saved trading on Bybit in 45 days. I didn't make the switch originally because I hated, you know, having to switch over and actually try using out a new exchange. And I did for a minute, but I didn't get used to it enough to where I really fell in love with it. Finally, I just got sick of getting eaten alive by KuCoin. And then I made the switch and I'm so glad I did. Now, another key thing I forgot to tell you guys is there's different chart settings. So if I wanna move things around and move this chart around, you're gonna have over here, you're gonna have auto, which is gonna automatically size everything. And you can see if I'm dragging and clicking around, I can't, I can't move the chart up and down. So if I turn off auto, then I have the ability to move the chart around. Now, if I turn on log, logarithmic scale or whatever they say, it just automatically puts the chart in, propor in proper size proportion for you. So you can see if I turn it off, a lot of times it'll like make things more elongated. So you pretty much have log on, you can fit, everything gets compressed and it's easier to actually see and it automatically, or it scales based off of price, where over here you can turn on scale based off of percentage. So you can see that my, I'm scaling over here based on a percentage scale versus a logarithmic scale. And then the same thing on auto, as if I turn off auto, I can move that around. So that's one key thing as well. <clears throat> over here you have a long, versus short. So if I wanted to instantly open up a long right now, all I have to do is click open long. It's gonna automatically open a long. You set your one quantity. If I wanted to open a long on Bitcoin for one Bitcoin, right over here, boom, opens up a long. It's automatically gonna use whatever leverage you have set up here. We're gonna dive into the actual leverage and tools and all that in the next video. But this video is just gonna be covering the charts. And actually the next video is gonna be covering indicators. Then after we cover indicators, we're gonna come over here. We're gonna talk about how to actually execute on trades. So now let's talk about these charts over here on Bybit. They have two different interfaces. You have spot exchange and then you have derivatives. So we're gonna focus mainly on derivatives. So we're gonna come down here. We're gonna go down to USDT perpetual and we're gonna choose any coin. Let's just choose Bitcoin, for example. When you're looking at a chart and what's awesome about Bybit is if I wanted to move things around and move these order books down here, I could easily move things around. You can kind of easily reset things back to the way they were. I can move all of my order books down over here I could then grab this interface right here and make it full screen. So that was super nice. That is one of the key things I really, really love about Bybit. Let's dive in and focus a lot on these charts. So over here on the left hand side, you'll see the trading view icon. You can click on charts by trading view and it's literally going to take you right over to the trading view platform. So over here on trading view, I have Bitcoin BTC. I can literally chart everything out on trading view. Or if you just want to look at the exchange and actually chart out right on the exchange, you can. Now, sometimes people have said that they notice a difference in price. Sometimes the charts on Bybit don't match the charts on trading view. But if you look over here, you see 50,478.85. I can look over here right here on the top and see that. And you can see here I'm in USDT. You always want to make sure you're in USDT. So 50,487, 50,475. Now, check out what they don't notice. When the market is super volatile, what do you see over here? You see an orange line. If I turn this chart on, 
you can see the difference between the orange and blue line. The blue line is your, your blue line is your index, your orange line is your market. So what's awesome about Bybit is if I were to have a trade open, like let's just mark it into a Bitcoin trade. So I just open into this long position with 50X leverage, right? Now I'm in this long with 50X leverage. You'll see my liquidation price over here, which is $49,692. What that orange line is, is it's the price of Bitcoin on like five or six different exchanges. So Gemini, Polonex, KuCoin, Bittrex, what I love about Bybit, to make things fair for traders on their exchange, so you don't ever feel like Bybit's manipulating price to push price in one direction or the other because they know where your liquidation prices are, they know where your stop losses are. Bybit takes the average price of Bitcoin on five or six different exchanges. They combine it together, they divide it by six or whatever, and you get an average price on every exchange. So in order to get liquidated on a trade on Bybit, literally the entire market needs to get manipulated and that's how they wick you out. So why I love Bybit and I say I like Bybit better than KuCoin is because I know Bybit's not manipulating price and pushing price around in one direction or the other just because they know where my stop losses are. Now on KuCoin and other exchanges, I cannot say the same. So why some people would be like, oh my gosh, the price on Bybit's exchange right now is 50,000, you know, 500, 2, 503, but they're seeing 50,549. Because over here on TradingView, what they are displaying is the actual market price, right? So that is your liquidation price. There is a difference. And if I turn back on the candles, see that orange line is behind it? When the market is super, super volatile, and I mean like big price swings, like one or 2% in a few seconds or a few minutes, that's when those lines will separate. But a majority of the time, if you just turn back on the line chart, you can see there's times and we're on the one minute too. So let's jump on to like a one hour time frame. When you're on the one hour time frame, you can see that there are times where that price does separate a little bit and there is that discrepancy between the limit and market price. And I'm just gonna call them limit and market so I don't confuse them. Market is the orange one, limit is the blue one. So outside of that, now that we know the difference between market and limiting price, over here are your candles. You have Heikinashi candles, which give you a average of price, right? And how these candles work is, if you look over here at Bitcoin right now, and I have the regular candles on, and you can see how price looks right here. You can see all the difference between red and green candles. It's like really obvious to see when the market's bearish or bullish. But now if I come over here and I turn on the Heikinashi candles, can you guys see the difference between those two? See the difference in candles? See how you can see the pattern over here? Okay, so I got Bitcoin on the 15 minute chart, right? And I have it on 15 minute on both sides. See this candles formation right here? See how you can see two different red candles right here on the right? And over here on the left, you only see one really tiny spinning top doji candle versus over here you see multiple. What Heikinashi candles are doing is they're taking the average of the previous candle open and close and then they're comparing that to the current price and they start the candles out in different positions. So it's just an easier way and easier to spot trend. So it's really obvious that we are in an uptrend right here because all the candles are green except for that one. Now if you look over here on the right, it's not as easy to see that we are actually in that uptrend because you have these two red, red candles here. Now it, if you zoom out and you really start to look at the market, your charts start to look drastically different. Like here on this downtrend, where it's kind of like up and down and then big drop. Over here, it's just consistent red. Like it was very easy to see that, you know, price was coming up and you see you make that hoop and you come down where it's over here, it's one giant candle and then rest is retracing. Over here, it's kind of like you're structuring your uptrend and you can kind of see it almost making like that fan right there, letting you know price is gonna come down. Now over here, you got this straight up and then it's like, er, er. Over here, it's more consistent, so it makes it easier for you guys to see and spot trends. So on Bybit over here, the same thing, you have all of these same options. So you can use the line chart, which is actually just looking at a line graph. When it comes to spotting bearish and bullish divergence, that can be a really big asset. Now, if we click this little blue arrow on the left-hand side, that's gonna pop out our menu. So over here, you have the measuring tool, so you can actually see in percentage how high prices came up or came down. Over here, you have your drawing tool, so if you wanna kinda draw some lines on the charts, the second you start drawing, you'll get a toolbar that'll pop up. So you can come over here, change your lines to yellow, drop the drop down, change the size of the line. So if you want your lines to be a lot thicker, and then anytime I believe you can hit command Z and boom, it takes it right off, pops up here again. You can choose bring to front, send it back. So it's kind of just like any graphics design software, bring to front, send it back. So you can actually do a lot of cool stuff. Up here in the top left is your cursor arrow. So anytime I want to click on this line and move this line around, I'm just going to click that crosshair. This right here is your diagonal line tool. So if you wanna draw a perfectly straight line, easy to do. Again, change the size, change the color. 
Over here are all your pitchforks, your GAN fans, your Fibonacci retracements. Personally, my favorite is just the Fibonacci retracement tool and the Fibonacci extension tool. So if I come over here and just put a star on them, right? Now it's going to create a little mini toolbar. So if I want to quick out, pull out the Fib, boom, bam, got my Fib set up. And what's cool about it is they color code it for you. But I personally am not a fan of the way that they set their Fibs up. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to show you guys right now how to set up your Fib. I'm gonna leave on the zero, the 0.382, the 0.618. I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna turn off the 0.3, I'm gonna leave on the 0.5, turn off the 0.786. And over here where it says, where it says 0.678, we're gonna change this to 1.382. We're gonna come over here, we're gonna click on all these icons and we're just gonna make them all white. And we're gonna turn the six, the 1.618 to orange. And we're gonna turn the 0.618 to orange. We're gonna turn the rest to white. So again, you can see I have everything else turned off. Background color, gonna turn it 100% transparent. And we just have on the zero, 0 0.382, 0 0.5, 0 0.618, 1.38, 1, and 1.618. And we're gonna hit OK. And now you can see what my Fibonacci retracement tool looks like. Super easy, super simple to set up. There are so many different levels on the Fibonacci extension and retracement tools. Those are my favorite key numbers. When you start turning on everything on your favorite retracement tool, Bitcoin's always gonna hit one of those levels. So even when I think Bitcoin might stop at the 0.23, for example, instead of coming all the way down to the 0.382, I don't necessarily need to see that line there. I don't need to see a line everywhere because then I'm always gonna be trying to go to a different target and it makes things too confusing. I just set these structured targets and they've always worked good for me. And again, I have great videos which teach you how to use the Fibonacci retracement and extension tools. Now, the next one I like to check out over here is also called the Fibonacci extension tool, but I don't really use that one much. Now, the next cool tool I like to check out is your long position tool. So for example, say I were to think Bitcoin was coming right up here to the price point of the 0.618. I can come over here and put a note or a call out. So we can turn on call out or price label. We'll start price. So it's in our toolbar. We're going to start text. So it's in our toolbar and we're going to start call out. Those are pretty much the only three I actually use. So now I can see on my price toolbar, if I wanted to put price, price has a little circle dot at the bottom. Boom. And it automatically puts a price label up there. You can increase the size to 40. You can increase the color fill to that. And you can increase the color of your text to be white, the outline of your box, or you can actually increase add color to your text. So that's really simple and easy to use. So for example, let's say I thought price was actually gonna come up to this price point, but I wanted my entry point to be, you know, at 50,600 something. I can then come over here and click, turn on my long position tool, add that to my toolbar. I come over here and I press, just click anywhere. And what that's going to do is it's going to set up your long position toolbar. Over here on this arrow, you can shorten it and widen it. So let's say our entry price was right here at 50,500. You're Dead even line right across here is your even. This is your stop loss drop down, right? So you can easily see right here, it shows you one what one and a half percent is. So if I kind of wanted to have a 1% stop loss and my entry price was right here at $50,686 or whatever, and I wanted to have a half percent, I could literally just scroll this up and down and go, okay, right there, there's 1%, perfect. So when I open up my trade, I go to limit in, I say, okay, I'm gonna limit in at $50,687. I'm gonna do... I'm gonna buy long with a take profit slash stop loss in. My stop loss will be $50,185. Boom, bam. Take profit. Now our take profit is super simple and easy. We're gonna drag this up to our price target of $54,775. So $54,775, bam. And if I were to take that trade and hit that trade, I could easily see that my, I could easily see my risk versus reward ratio is a so it's roughly an eight to one risk to reward ratio. If I hit that, my take profit is gonna be 8.6%. Now again, if you're using leverage on that, if I were to take that trade with 50X, so I'd be making 8% profit with 50X, talking about 400% gain on that one trade. So their interface is so easy and it makes it so nice to just make price predictions and chart coins out. I don't necessarily have to go to trading view. And then this is your text tool. So you see, I just click somewhere. That's this little box. They call it a call out box. Boom, I could easily put price labels, notes. I actually like how clean and how the chart looks and how the colors contrast over here on Bybit more than I actually like using TradingView over here. I never really actually messed around because I always use TradingView, but it's really nice. The fact that I don't have to and I can actually do everything right here on Bybit. I mean, this is really, really nice. 
Over here, you can use money signs and put money signs or arrows and do anything. And again, if you wanna make that disappear, you just click this little blue arrow on here on the left. So I have a ton of great videos that would actually teach you guys all about all the tools I use. But as far as trading on Bybit and their main charting tools that I actually use on a consistent basis, that's it. That's how you set up your favorites toolbar. Your favorites toolbar, again, anytime you're actually seeing an icon over here, if you just click the star on it, it's gonna automatically create you your own favorites toolbar. And then depending on what you're doing, if I switch back over to here on my crosshair and I click on the charts, you see that the editor goes away. But anytime I actually click on a label, every time you wanna customize that label, it's right there. And that's a wrap on Bybit charts, guys. I thank you guys so much. Everybody that goes out of their way to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, I can't thank you guys enough. I'm trying to pack as much info into these videos as humanly possible and keep them as short as humanly possible. So thank you guys. Everybody that goes out of their way to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, I can't thank you guys enough. Everybody that signed up for my actual digital course, which is $9.99 a month, I the support I cannot make, I cannot thank you guys enough. I wouldn't be able to do half of this without you guys showing your love and support for this channel. So I'm really greatly appreciative. Shout out to Bybit for giving me the opportunity to help make some content for you guys. I love you guys. And if you do sign up on Bybit, don't forget to go sign up and get your guys' $20 bonus plus your $50 first time deposit bonus, plus they have other bonuses if you complete KYC. If you can't KYC or you're one of the people like me that just doesn't like to KYC, you don't have to KYC. But if you can, you get a bunch more perks, including, I don't really know, ton of, ton of free perks, ton of good stuff, guys. This is a great video. I have I explain all that stuff in every other video as well, so I don't wanna keep over talking and repeating myself, but love you guys. Can't wait to see you guys in the next video. And if you guys wanna actually see how I live trade and watch me trading, day trading, Soon we'll be back to day trading. I'm just trying to get caught up on everything because I just don't have time to actually focus and trade on and as much as I would like right now. So I love you guys. Come join us in the live stream and I'll answer any questions you guys have. Love you guys. Peace.